Hi there, um, my name is Eric Malmes. This presentation gives an overview of what uh, I and my colleagues at uh, NORS uh, do on the remote sensing on snow of Svalbard. As you may know, Svalbard is located at 80 degrees north. It has seen a 4.5 degrees increase in average temperatures since 1970, so the climate is changing rapidly. It is easily ac uh, accessible with airlines from Oslo, so it is an excellent study site for climate changes. In the Norwegian Research uh, Council project SEALS, we focus on reproducing clim climate time series on snow over Svalbard using historical and current remote sensing imagery from ODIS, ASR, uh, radar set 2, Sentinel 1 to 3. The MODIS snow cover data set over Svalbard is a 20 year long time series. We started by taking the daily maps uh, where also cloud uh, coverage is uh, a part of it and uh, by, uh, by interpolating between um, cloud-free scenes, we obtain a, a cloud-free snow, uh, snow cover time series. From this we can extract the, the daily snow cover fraction over the entire Svalbard, as we do here, or we can extract the geographical trends, like for instance the, the change in the winter duration over the period. We have also used synthetic aperture radar to detect wet snow. We have a close to daily coverage using NVSAT ASAR, RadarSat 2, and Sentinel 1 since 2003, also during the polar night period. Wet snow is detected by using a change detection method versus a dry snow reference image. Uh, and we can see the image to the right uh, where uh, the areas in red where we detect wet snow on a typical day. Uh, from the time series, we can reveal the occurrence and severity of rain or snow events on Svalbard. So we also carry out annual field campaigns nearby Longyearbyen. Uh, the map to the left shows the, the different sites we are measuring uh, various snow parameters. We dig uh, snow pits and, uh, and uh, document the snow profiles. We also carry out drone-borne ground-penetrating radar measurements to acquire the snow depth uh, and the uh, layering in the snow. In this uh, figure, we show uh, a comparison between radar-derived snow depth and in-situ uh, measured snow depth. This shows a, a typical snow profile. And of course, this is also related to coordinated campaigns where we acquire various satellite data over the, the, the study sites. So we're also very interested in comparing our snow data sets against other time series, uh, for instance uh, models or other in situ or earth observation data for validation, calibration and assimilation purposes. Here for instance we have uh, compared the snow cover fraction from MODIS against uh, a thresholded snow cover fraction obtained from a hydrological model. We can see that the, the agreement is fairly good. So to conclude, uh, Science Snow focuses on providing long-term consistent time series of snow products over Svalbard. The time series will provide detailed documentation of ongoing climate changes. The time series will be stored in open access databases provided by SIAS, and uh, we uh, promote comparisons with other datasets, uh, and as this is an ongoing task to understand the interrelations between the different parts of the climate system. Thanks a lot for the attention.